Hi everyone, welcome to Roster Tutorial Series. I am Melvin Sajid. This is the third video in Roster Tutorial Series. Access the full playlist in the description. In this video, you will see how to run your first Roster program. Let's dive into the video. So first of all, open a new terminal and run ROS2. So you can see command not found error. So before running your ROS2 programs, we will see where is ROS2 installed and how we can fix this command not found error in every terminal that we open. So to fix this error, we will go to root opt ls. So you can see there is ROS, go to that ROS directory and type ls again. So you can see humble, that is the version we installed. So humble has been installed on this folder actually and we'll go to humble inside humble and you can see there are a lot of files so what we need is setup.bash we need to source it source setup.bash and now run ROS2 and you can see the ROS2 command is working fine so how will we automatically run the source file whenever we start a new terminal so when I close and open a new terminal again and type ROS2 we have the same error again so to fix that you can do is source sash opt ros humble setup.bash setup.bash so if you run this we can see the command is working fine what we run is source opt ros humble setup.bash but it's not convenient to run every time when you open a new terminal like if i co open split this and if i run ros2 here it won't work to fix that we should run this and run your ROS2 it will work so to automatically run the source whenever we open a new terminal is to edit the bash rc file and add this command to the bash rc to do that we will go to gedit gedit and type root dot bash rc so you can see this is the command so gedit home slash dot bash rc and enter so and what we need to add is we should add this command here that is source opt ros so we'll paste this command you can see it's paste now we will save the file okay so if we source the bash rc file source dot bash rc it will automatically run the ros2 source as well so we can see we'll close this terminal and open a new terminal and type ros2 enter so you can see the command is working fine this is very important that if you do not do this you cannot run any ROS2 programs on your system so make sure you correctly source your system with ROS2 so now we are ready to run our first ROS2 program in this video we are not gonna write our own ROS2 program we will use example code that is provided by ROS already so open a new terminal and type ROS and tab two times so you can see all these things are there if you are seeing all these things your ROS2 setup is done correctly so type ROS2 run demo underscore node underscore cpp and space talker so talker is like a hello world program for ROS2 when we run you can see talker is publishing hello world to our screen so we'll open a new terminal here by splitting this terminator and we'll run ROS2 run demo underscore nodes underscore cpp space listener so listener is like a subscriber you can see it's been in the publisher talker has been sending to the subscriber and we are receiving so you can see it's been sending 135 and you can see it's been receiving here 135 and all this is happening using ROS2 communications so the listener will print the message from the talker so the listener is like a subscriber to the talker publisher we can cancel the talker if you want but still the listener will be running but it won't be receiving the hello world so you can see the last command we got is hello world 29 but if we restart the talker you can see it's getting the one from the ROS to talker the listener is receiving the uh, commands from the ROS2 talker so I will explain what is the publisher and subscriber in upcoming videos also we will make our own ROS2 programs do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that's all for today's video to stop all these programs you should control C and control C and also close your terminal 
So this video is a part of roster tutorial series and roster full course. Check out the description for more information about the course. So see you guys in the next video.